Hi guys, welcome to Home with Heather Ann. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this amazing farmhouse style clock using hula hoops. This whole project cost me less than $20. Let's run down the supply list. You're going to need two hula hoops, one slightly smaller than the other, foam wood sticks, spray paint, glue gun, popsicle sticks, and a basic clock mechanism. I've linked the clock mechanism I used in the comments below, but there are plenty of options available on Amazon for under $10. You're going to begin by attaching the foam sticks to the hula hoop using your glue gun. I chose foam wood over real wood because it's easy to cut with scissors and there is no need for power tools. You can find it at just about any craft store. When attaching the popsicle sticks, make sure that the Roman numerals are going in a clockwise direction, meaning the number six will be upside down. And a little tip regarding the strings left behind when using a hot glue gun, run a blow dryer over the strings for a few minutes and most of them shrivel and disappear. Next up is spray paint. I use the Rust-Oleum brand in the color Brush Iron. It has a slight gold shimmer to it, which I really like. Installing the clock mechanism is easy. The package I ordered had simple instructions on the back. Another reason I like the foam wood is I was able to use a screwdriver to make a hole instead of having to use any other form of tool. Quick and easy. I've had a few questions about how I hung the clock. And if you look on the back of the clock mechanism, you can see a little hook. This project was so light, I was actually able to hang it using one thumbtack inserted in the hook on the back of the clock piece. Now the fun part, decorating. I wanted a faded rustic look, so I used a few different metallic paint colors. You can find them at any craft store. Choose your favorite brand and have fun with it. And that's it, a quick and easy craft that took about an hour and cost $20. I love how it turned out. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe and follow me on my social media pages. See you guys next time.